Hello, humanitarian, and welcome back from the weekend. I hope you had a great one. I hope that grand trying was effective on Saturday. Well, looks like it is sunny or partly sunny and self-reflected today for the aquas. The moon is in Libra, an air sign just like you, so that does lighten the heaviness of emotion. Might have been a heavy weekend with the moon in an air sign. But now the moon is kind of free to be light and uh, airy, and for you, you'll be kind of processing how you feel about certain things. This is that annual transit or that monthly transit, sorry, where you are kind of thinking about what you've gone through in the month, seeing what your philosophy is behind that, learning from the emotions you've experienced, and you're pretty much spaced out. Now, one thing that's interesting, Venus has over the weekend hopped over into Gemini. So you are now planting seeds to new joy in your life, stepping into new romances or maybe new creativity, your inner child transit, which you'll be going through when the sun moves into Gemini at the end of the month. But today Venus is there planting seeds, and today you're not only planting seeds to a new creativity or a new joy, but you're relating that to your feelings and your philosophies in life, uh, represented by the Venus, Venus trining the moon. Now over to the sun. We're in chapter one of Sun and Taurus. Today Mercury retrograde has begun to conjunct the sun. What that means is we're going to have a scissor effect. You're going to be moving forward with the healing of your past when it comes to home, family, and foundation. And the sec at the same time, you're rethinking Mercury retrograde, maybe alternatives to the way you have lived so far. And chapter one really is about how you ground yourself in the childhood you had. The childhood you had sets in motion your self-nurturing skills or lack thereof and sets in motion your ability to ground yourself and create home and family. So with Venus ruling the day, it's time to heal from the past and it's time to reconsider your options or rethink or take another look at the past to see maybe how things might go differently. And it's Monday. We have an episode of Julie Zipper's Meditation Vibration going live today. This is chapter two already of Sun and Taurus. And this month, if you haven't noticed already, she's getting deep on how to manifest reality, literal light casting and meditation skills that will manifest to reality. That's what Taurus is about, manifestation, producing, etc. So don't miss Julie. She's live today everywhere Soul Garden is. All right, Aqua, that's all I have for Monday, but I'll see you tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. Soul Garden.